that's why we're here today. Oh God, you are good. As we study of this book, Genesis, Lord, we acknowledge that you are good in the beginning when you created all things. You said that it was good. It was good. And through the pages of the book of Genesis, Lord, we've seen so many evil things that took place. It seems like Satan was conquering. It seems like the, the enemies was all around and against you, Lord. But then you close your book in Genesis to say that what man meant for evil, God, you meant it for good. Lord God, help us as God's people to remember that we are here to experience when we live in this world, even though it seems to be evil, seems to be trouble. But God, you meant it for good. Help us not to be deceived by people's opinions, by the world system that seems to make things so evil and to deceive our heart to say that you are in the evil time. This is evil, but God, we as your people, all things work together for good. All things, even the bad and the ugly, all things work together for good. God forgive us many times we let our feeling, our emotions to get in the way. Of to understand of your goodness, to see your goodness, to taste and see of that you are good. You, God, forgive us for that sin that we committed. For allowing our circumstance and our situation to determine your goodness. Because God, you are above all circumstances. You are above everything. You are good no matter what because that's who you are. Lord God, my prayer today. And I know that this is your desire. First and most of all, for your people to truly acknowledge you in all their ways. And to know that all things truly work together for good, even though they are in a troubled time. God, I know, I know that you are a God full of compassion. You suffer with us as we suffer, but God, you know that we know that all things still work together for good. I pray for your people that are struggling, those who are hearts are really just desiring to get out of the trouble. God, I pray, may they seek you first. May they not run to another gods. May they not give them themselves, their life, their bodies to others, but to you alone. Lord God, I pray. I pray for those who are here today. They do not know you yet. Maybe they're religious, they have religious, religious backgrounds, but God, they know, they are, they know if they just adding you into their life, not truly have you in their life. God, I pray, may they come to repentance, may they confess their sins to you, Lord, and to ask you to forgive them and for them to be reconciled to you so that they can live in you and you live in them. And they may taste and see that you are good. So Lord, may you will be done upon them. Thank you once again for your mercy and your grace. Thank you for your love. We pray all these things in Jesus Christ's name. And all God's people say, Amen. Amen. <coughs> That's chapter 50. 50 chapters of Genesis. What do you guys think? Those of you who have followed from chapter 1, I tell you this, I know that for the fact, as I myself study all these 50 chapters, in the last two and a half years, all these two things, my life is not the same. My life was not the same again. And I hope that will be true with you as well. If you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ, if you just one of those that kind of adding Jesus into your life, and you really want to taste and see that the Lord is good, I want to encourage you, come see me after the service. Come in here if you see me. It doesn't cost you anything, okay? If it takes longer, I'll take you to a Chinese restaurant down the way, okay? Or KFC, if that's what you like. 
but we'll have fellowship. But I'll really love for you to know the Lord Jesus Christ. I'd love to spend time with you. And not just trying to make you to believe, because I cannot make you to believe. Only God can do that. So all I want to do, I want to show you from the Word of God, how is, what does that mean to know the Lord Jesus Christ? To have life in Christ. And if you still don't understand it, that's okay. We just study it. I love spending time with you. I have two more toward my weeks, the days and the nights, the weekdays. It's filled with Bible studies. People come and teach the Word of God in the afternoon, in the morning. Whatever it is, hey, you know our office. God gave us that office so that we can use it, everything, the fullness of it for God's glory. Amen? So please, 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 I beg you, come see me. It's not that I have plenty of time, but anytime when people are wanting to know the Lord, that's a priority to me. Amen? So please, please come sitting for that.